it's Jared Huber, and in this video we have an unboxing of the Yens 356 Air UM. So if you guys don't already know, this is a magnetic version of the Yens 356 Air, and I'm super excited to check it out. Before we get to this though, there's a few other things that came in the package that I want to take a look at. First of all, we got this really cool Gans card. I'm not sure what this is for exactly, but it looks like there's a QR code that we might want to check out. I'm, I'm sure that'll just take you to this website though, but yeah, so there's this card, and then this looks looks like a new cubicle uh, business card. So this is the Cubicle Labs logo, and I'm, I think this must be for the premium cubes. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then it's got all of their social media uh, and contact areas on this side. Really cool uh, business card. It's got a black theme now, and I, I really like it. Finally, we've got this. This is the new lubricant that the Cubicle has just come out with. It is called DNM37. So if you can read that, it says DNM37 is a water-based peace lube engineered by Cubicle Labs to create a refreshing and lasting burst of speed for your puzzles. So this is supposed to be basically like Maru, except it'll last longer and won't dry out as fast. So as you can see, it's a lot darker than Maru. Maru is like white, it almost looks like milk, uh, but this stuff is a bit darker. And from the tests that they've shown on their uh, YouTube channel, it does not dry out anywhere near as fast as Maru does. Uh, which is quite exciting. So I can't wait to try this out in some puzzles that have kind of slowed down recently So it's a good way to like instantly speed up your puzzles is what I'm hearing So I'm excited to try this out. I might even try it on this GANS Air uh, if I don't like the speed But I'm sure I will now we get to the actual puzzle the GANS 356 Air UM So this is a collaboration between the cubicle and with GANS And so basically this was the cube used to set the world record of 4.73 It wasn't this exact cube. It was a prototype version, but it was a magnetic GAN 356 Air, uh, so I'm excited to check it out. Let's go ahead and take a look at all of the components of what's inside this package. So right here we've got our instruction guide. Looks like we've got algorithms for a bunch of different uh, F2L cases, and then OLL here and PLL right over here. Next up, we've got all of our spring tensions. So I haven't really messed with any of the uh, other spring tensions besides these clear ones, which are the stock ones. As you can see, since they're in the bag, there's actually a different color that's inside the cube. So the ones that are in the cube are the purple ones. Uh, so it'll be the first time I'll have tried a different spring tension because uh, I've just used the clears, but I would like to experiment a little bit more. In my review, I did kind of talk about how the springs were a little bit gimmicky even though I hadn't really tried them, which was a little bit unfair of me to say. So I would like to try out some of these and actually give them a shot uh, before I discredit them. Anyway, so then on uh, in this side of the packaging, right before we get to the cube, we've got this little um, pamphlet here. Now this pamphlet was actually designed by Damien, or the Cubologist, which is pretty cool. Uh, he works at the cubicle and he does a lot of the graphic design, and this little pamphlet was designed by him, which is uh, pretty interesting. So, uh, right off the bat, taking a look at the sticker shades, it looks like this puzzle was stickered with um, Gans's color scheme. This is definitely not my color scheme, I know that. Oh yeah, it looks like it's definitely been lubed. So I would assume that this also has the premium service done to it as well. Anyways, I'm super excited to give this cube a try. I've heard a lot of mixed opinions about it and I can't wait uh, to try it out. So let's go ahead and do some turns. Oh man, whoa, okay. Right off the bat, this is extremely different from any other magnetic cube I've tried, and I've tried the other ones, the uh, GTSM and the Volk M, I have them. This is very, very different. I actually really like this cube. Out of the box, this is honestly amazing. I'm honestly quite surprised. I've heard many different opinions about this cube in the first impressions and all that kind of stuff. My first impressions, this is an amazing puzzle. Let's talk about the magnets. So the magnets in the turns are only noticeable when you're turning slowly. So when you're turning slowly, there's a definite click, but when you're turning quickly, you can hardly tell. Yet at the same time, the puzzle feels honestly way more stable than my GANS 356 Air. Another thing is the weight. This cube is actually a little bit lighter than the GANS Air, and in order to do this, they've actually taken out all of the hardware from the edges and corners and actually glued all the pieces together with the magnets inside. So as for the feel itself, it honestly, it feels exactly like 
a uh, Agans Air, which I'm sure is what you were expecting. But it also feels a little bit more clacky almost. So you can hear it's a little bit louder. Now I'm not sure if this is the magnets or the spring tensions, but and honestly, it, it's not quite as quiet and it just feels a little bit more um, loose. So just doing algorithms and stuff, like honestly, I haven't felt a cube in a, quite a long time where I can perform algorithms so like fluidly. Like that's just a JPerm we'll do, hold on, <laughs> do a TPerm, we've got like VPerms. Yeah, this is really, really nice. I actually can control this very, very well. Let's go ahead and try a couple of solves. Maybe just one solve. Let's see. Of all of the magnetized puzzles I've tried, this one is definitely the most balanced. And what I mean by that is that you can definitely tell that the magnets are there when you're turning slowly, and you can tell, especially when I do something like this, that it definitely clicks at the end of every turn. But when you're turning quickly, it's not all that noticeable, which is ex basically exactly what you want in a magnetic puzzle. The idea of the magnets is that they should be more subtle than more prominent, like you shouldn't really be able to tell that they're there when you're turning, because it's honestly a little bit distracting. And that's the one problem I have with the Valk M, even though it's my main and I like solving on it, the magnets are just a little bit too strong. And these magnets honestly feel perfect. And so I am honestly really, really happy with how this cube is performing. I think there's a really good chance this could become my main. I really did like the Gans Air, and I wasn't really sure how magnets would work in a puzzle like it, uh, but now that I'm actually trying it out, I'm a big fan. Even though I do really like the way the puzzle is set up, I do think I would like to mess around with a couple of the other spring tensions, uh, see if I can really find something that fits my turning style perfectly. Although these purple ones are really quite nice. I. I like them, so you can tell that they're purple just by popping off the top, and you can see inside there. You might not be able to see with the lighting um, because it's kind of like the bottom section. The top part is clear, but the bottom section is purple. I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, I really like just about everything about this puzzle, and if you want to get one, the link is in the description. It is quite pricey. It's $47.37, obviously because of Felix's world record time, uh, and I'll leave it up to you to decide if it's worth it. So that's pretty much gonna do it for this unboxing. Thanks to the Cubicle for making this video possible. Links to all of my social media and my Patreon are down in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.